<laughs> so Lydia and I are going to make a really quick, we already started, bisquick dough. We have some leftover hot dogs. So we thought we would make some pigs in a blanket and make kind of a fun snacky supper. One of our favorites, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Ready? Yep. We did it! So this real quick, easy, homemade bisquick dough, I'll leave the recipe down below because it's super easy, but I have to show you these hot dogs. We bought them. They're hot dogs. What does it look like to you? Because it does not look like a hot dog to me. <laughs> it looks like a finger or toe to me. Mom. Let's put them this way. <laughs> you want this? Dad. You? Oh, you can't see mom. Can I scooch you over? Do, 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 do. Don't touch the dough. <laughs> so, we finished those hot doggies, got them in the oven, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the extra dough. I was just going to throw it in the fridge for something else. And then I realized it would be nice to have a little treat. So we're actually going to make something that mom learned how to make. I learned how to make in high school. This was the only thing in home ec class that I probably actually remember how to do. They used um, pre-made kind of like dough in a tube, but we're just using that leftover, um, kind of like a homemade biscuit dough. And I'm gonna cook it first. Some butter, some cinnamon, sugar. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the first thing I'm going to do is melt this butter. It is so hot in the house, so I'm going to be doing the microwave. I know. Hey, you doing mom. Our shaker is completely empty where we usually keep cinnamon and sugar. We actually haven't had cinnamon and sugar in a while, but it's just one of those things that it's nice to have mixed up. So we're going to mix them up and put, them in, put it in the shaker to make it easier for later. Done, done, done. Is it all mixed up? Yep, made up. So we've got our melted butter. I'm gonna put some of our cinnamon sugar in a little bowl. And the dough is super simple to make. We just roll it into a little snake. Mom, I hey, my roll snake. You wanna roll snake? You can roll yours right here. Okay, keep it on the board. And we're gonna make a little knot. And then I'm dipping it in the butter. I need a spoon for this so for myself and then rolling it around in the cinnamon and sugar. Ew. And then I'm just gonna bake these till they're done. I do. What's up? <laughs> what you doing? I'm ready to cut some bread. So today I am busy blanching some green beans. We're gonna get some little bags of these in the freezer since we didn't quite have enough to can.
So I was super disappointed at our bean harvest at first. And if you look at our tiny little six little bags of beans, you'd probably be like, that is definitely not enough, like one bag per family member, right? But I'm trying to just ever be learning and um, always kind of going forward with how we're doing things. I learned that I need to plant more beans if I want to can them. And so what I decided to do is I did plant more beans so that second batch hopefully we'll be able to can. But these, my plan is to just freeze them and use them in dishes, kind of like we do hot dishes and stuff, basically like a rice-based dish or a pasta-based dish where I can throw these in rather than having them as sides for meals. And then we'll save our canned green beans for that.